thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakas, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the 22nd Monday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Matthew, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 43rd verse. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place, but it finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. So will it be also with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, who is my mother, and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Here ends the lesson. In the verses just prior to today's reading, Jesus rebuked the Pharisees for their demand that he give them a sign. He called them out as an adulterous generation. Jesus had performed many signs, and he knew that those who would reject him as Messiah would also reject what he had to offer, including his miracles, healings, and teachings. Jesus cast this judgment to show them the path they were choosing if they persisted in their unbelief. Teachings like this are sometimes dismissed because they show that we will be held accountable and reap the consequences of our choices in this life. Personal accountability has never been a particularly popular message. However, when we reject a key part of Jesus' teaching, what differentiates us from the Pharisees doing the same thing 2,000 years ago? Jesus said that the only sign that would be given would be the sign of the prophet Jonah. Whether literally or metaphorically, Jonah stayed in the belly of the whale for three days and three nights, which was fulfilled when Jesus stayed in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. Jesus extended the analogy, telling of how a person who had been delivered from a demonic spirit is unable to be free of the demonic without the help of God. He was warning the Pharisees about the futility of their efforts to confront the evil of this world without God on their side. They had confused the power of God with the power of Satan, leaving themselves open to the power of Satan. Our lesson ends with Jesus' mother and brothers coming to the house where Jesus was speaking and asking to speak to him. Instead of embracing them, with the warm welcome we might have expected, he puts them and us on the spot by asking, who is my mother and who are my brothers? In doing this, Jesus opens the door for all who strive to do the will of God the Father to be his brothers and sisters. Mere affiliation with Israel or the Messianic community does not make you a member of Jesus' family. God does not have grandchildren, only children. We are being called into a living faith and family of love 
with Jesus as our Lord and our Messiah. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our website has recordings and details about all of our offerings.